There are five main types of secreted chemical signals in our body. Hormones are chemical signals that are secreted into the circulatory system and communicate regulatory messages within the body. Hormones reach all parts of the body, but only target cells are equipped to respond. Water-soluble hormones are secreted by exocytosis, travel freely in the bloodstream, and bind to cell surface receptors. Whereas lipid-soluble hormones diffuse across cell membranes, travel in the bloodstream bound to transport proteins, and diffuse through the plasma membrane of target cells. They often act as transcription factors that are involved in regulating gene expression. There are three major classes of molecules that function as hormones. Polypeptides and proteins are shown in blue. Amines derived from amino acids are shown in yellow. And steroid hormones derived from cholesterol are shown in pink. All polypeptide or protein hormones are water-soluble, which include oxytocin secreted by hypothalamus, which functions in milk production and uterine contraction with positive feedback loop. Antidiuretic hormone is also secreted by hypothalamus and functions in regulating blood osmolarity. Adrenal cortotropic hormone is released by the anterior pituitary gland and functions in regulating metabolism. Calcitonin is released by the thyroid gland and functions in decreasing blood calcium. Parathyroid hormone released by the parathyroid gland increases blood calcium concentration. Growth hormone released by the anterior pituitary gland functions in regulating growth. Prolactin secreted by the anterior pituitary gland functions in milk production. Insulin is secreted by pancreatic beta cells and functions in lowering blood glucose. Its antagonistic hormone glucagon is secreted by pancreatic alpha cells and functions in increasing blood glucose. Water-soluble amines include a class of hormones known as catecholamines, which are derived from tyrosine. Epinephrine and norepinephrine, also known as adrenaline and noradrenaline, are secreted by the adrenal medulla in response to stress, which increases metabolism. Lipid-soluble amine hormones include thyroid hormones, which are derived from iodination of tyrosine, T3 or triiodothyronine, and T4, which is thyroxine, functions in regulating metabolism and are secreted by the thyroid glands. Melatonin, which is derived from tryptophan, is secreted by the pineal gland and functions in regulating the circadian rhythm and pigmentation. All steroid hormones are derived from cholesterol and are lipid-soluble. Glucocorticoids are a class of corticosteroids that includes cortisol, which is secreted by adrenal cortex and functions in regulating metabolism in response to long-term stress. Mineralocorticoids is another class of corticosteroids secreted by the adrenal cortex that includes aldosterone, which functions in regulating blood pressure and volume. Another class of steroids known as sex steroids or gonadocorticoids include androgens, estrogens, and progestins. Testosterone is a type of androgen secreted in the testes and regulates male sexual development. The ovaries secrete estradiol, which is a form of estrogen, and progesterone, which is a form of progestins, to regulate the reproductive system. Another type of chemical signal is neurohormones. This classification is not mutually exclusive. Neurohormones refer to a class of hormones that originate from neurons in the brain and diffuse through the bloodstream. It includes antidiuretic hormone and noradrenaline. The third type of chemical signals are neurotransmitters, which are released by neurons at synapses and diffuse a short distance to bind to receptors on the target cell. There are five main classes of neurotransmitters. Acetylcholine is excitatory to the neuromuscular junction. Neurotransmitters that are derived from amino acids include catecholamines, which are derived from tyrosine, which includes norepinephrine, which can be either excitatory or inhibitory. Norepinephrine is both a hormone and a neurotransmitter. Dopamine is another type of catecholamine neurotransmitter, which is generally excitatory and plays a huge role in mediating pleasure in the brain. Serotonin is derived from tryptophan, and it is mainly inhibitory, 
and functions in modulating mood, reward learning, memory, and numerous physiological processes. Some amino acids are neurotransmitters. GABA stands for gamma aminobutyric acid. It is the primary inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain, whereas glutamate is the major excitatory neurotransmitter in our brain. Glycine is an inhibitory neurotransmitter that participates in the processing of motor and sensory information. Histamine is an excitatory neurotransmitter primarily involved in inflammatory responses, vasodilation, and regulation of immune response. Neuropeptides are small proteins that act on G-protein couple receptors and are responsible for slow onset modulation of synaptic transmission. Examples of neuropeptides include substance P and metencephalin or endorphin, both of which affect our perception of pain. Opiates bind to the same receptors as endorphins and can be used as painkillers. The last class of neurotransmitters are gases, which includes nitric oxide which increases platelet aggregation, relaxes smooth muscle, causes vasodilation, and gives an anti-inflammatory effect under normal physiological conditions. Viagra, which inhibits phosphodiesterase type 5, enhances nitric oxide-mediated vasodilation and helps treat erectile dysfunction. Carbon monoxide is another gaseous neurotransmitter, which functions in inhibiting platelet aggregation relaxing smooth muscles, dilating blood vessels, and suppressing inflammatory responses. Local regulators are involved in paracrine signaling, which elicit responses in nearby target cells. Nitric oxide and carbon monoxide are both classified as neurotransmitters and local regulators. Another class of local regulators include eicosanoids, which are derived from polyunsaturated fatty acids such as arachidonic acid and eicosapentaenoic acid or EPA. Thromboxane such as TXA2 increases platelet aggregation, smooth muscle contraction, and phasal constriction. Prostacycline or PGI2 is a type of prostaglandin that is antagonistic to thromboxanes which functions in inhibiting platelet aggregation, relaxing smooth muscle, vasodilation, and decreasing inflammation. Another type of prostaglandin, known as PGE2, functions in stimulating uterine contraction during labor, vasodilation, and most importantly, plays a huge role in inflammatory responses. Cyclooxygenase inhibitors such as ibuprofen and aspirin decreases the production of prostaglandins thereby treating pain and inflammation. Another type of eicosanoids are leukotrienes, which are involved in asthma pathology and inflammation. Cytokines are a large group of proteins, peptides, or glycoproteins that are secreted by specific cells of the immune system and functions in regulating various immune responses. Growth factors are actually a subset of cytokines that stimulate cell growth, differentiation, survival, inflammation, and tissue repair. The last type of chemical signals are pheromones, which are released from the body and used to communicate with other individuals in the species. Pheromones functions in marking trails to food sources, warning of predators, and attracting potential mates.